Four paraplegics are now moving their feet thanks to an electrical device implanted in their spines in research that's being called groundbreaking. I'm Jen Markham on Buzz 60. Ken Stevenson was paralyzed from the waist down in a motocross accident in 2009. He had an epidural stimulator, about the size of a deck of cards, implanted just below his spinal cord injury. Without it, stimulator's off, left leg up. He's unable to move his legs, but when the stimulator's turned on, left leg up. It sends electrical impulses that allow him to move his legs, right toe his toes, up. even perform some leg lifts with ankle weights. The results are similar to those seen in former college baseball player and quadriplegic Rob Summers, who in 2009 became the first person to receive the implant, making headlines when it allowed him to move his feet and even stand again. It was thought the stimulator only worked because Summers had some sensation in his arms and legs, but the new research shows the stimulators can even work on those like Kent, who have lost all That's feeling like in their man. paralyzed limbs. Researchers are hoping the development will put paraplegics on a path to one day walking again, which would be a huge step for everyone. Buzz 60. Now you know, pass it on.